Welcome to another Faith Clinic podcast with me Evangelist Terry Brunson God's Man of Faith and Power. Before we tackle the topic of study on the new birth experience I want to give a word of knowledge to all facing financial hardship. The Bible says that money answers all questions and it tells us that money is a defense against poverty. Proverbs 13 verse 18 says that poverty attaches to all that refuse prosperity instructions. God has a money plan for your wealth in the land to put more money in your hand. Do you understand? The seed that you neglect to sow is the harvest you will miss out on. If you miss it will be at your own risk. If you want to rise up to the Rolex living you must get off of the Timex giving. Many are under a lame brain restraint on having a good financial psychology and saying positive things about money to come to them. Everything about money is conditioned in how they talk when their money gets funny and their change gets strange. Many people's problems begin with what God calls the stinking thinking about money and attitude. To determine the financial psychology and attitude about money. Ask yourself, what is your thoughts towards money? Many speak lightly about money. They know it is better to have money and then not need it than to need money and not have it. If people could only see how they talk money away from them. Money is like a high-class lady. You cannot get away with saying any old thing about a woman of high class. Never speak lightly about money. Money is in everything that you need. Money is God's great gift to humanity to thrive and survive on earth. Am I right about that? Your attitude about money will draw money to you or kick money away from you. Money is the sixth sense of humanity. You can't use the other five without it. People don't realize that money is personified. When you get this fact straight about money, it will be respected better by what is said about money. Money can be labored for and money can also be spoken toward you in gift operation to turn a talent into cash. Isaiah 48 verse 17 says that God will teach his people how to profit in money making. If you have a God-given gift, God will give you the opportunity to use that gift to prosper in money. God will teach us to profit and show us how to turn our talents and ideas into cash to make money. God will teach us to profit in His empowering way to that we can become financial demonstrators in making money. If you have a skillful pen, you can write a bestseller by God's instruction. If you sing, you can hit that note to blow a tune to hit the top of the charts. If you can clean, you are to get to washing and scrubbing and polishing your way to success to have more money. If you can cook, it's time to fry it, dice it, slice it, stir it, salt it, broil it, boil it, bake it, and make it sell it for cash. If you can drive, it is time to start it, move it, tow it, taxi it, hack it, and Uber it down the road. Her is a money affirmation to says. The higher life towards money increase will be our lot overall money worries, fears, stress, lack, debts, and limitations. It all will be buried in the supernatural blood of God's money increase towards your wealthy place. Poverty is a trap that we need to be pulled out of it by God's devising. Getting out of poverty takes thinking about God's solution. There is no dignity in poverty. Poverty is an enemy to humanity. Poverty is a spirit that attacks by lack. Poverty robs people of their dignity. Poverty is an embarrassment to God's order. Poverty has its portion in a generational curse, locked in the minds of siblings, brothers and sisters, moms and dads, cousins, nieces and nephews, uncles and aunts, and grandparents. Poverty has a long generational history that can only be broken by the power of God in the Spirit. Poverty can be kicked off of your family tree. Now on to the topic of the new birth experience. It is the main work of God to attract His followers to Him. The devil has placed religion in the way of God's people so they will be confused on the right way God chooses to attract followers to His kingdom. It is not by religion. Many teach God's plan as if it is a religious plan. It is not. Religion is a devil-designed idea. Psalms 3 verse 8 says that salvation belongs to God to work it in His own way to save those who He has chosen to be a part of His kingdom. Psalms 3 verse 8. It is a work on the inner man. Making of a brand new soul structure in Christ-like identity. You become so new to you that God will have to introduce you to the new you as if the new you is another person. See 1 Samuel 10 verse 6 which says, and the Spirit of the Lord will come upon those of His choosing, and He prophesy with them in a way to be turned into another man. What do that mean? 
when you get saved God's way. The change is so radical that it shocks you that you are operating in a new spiritual way you think is another you. And it is in the Spirit. God has always worked with His people in His way by the Spirit. The experience of the prophet Ezekiel is an example. God used Ezekiel under the power of the Spirit to warn God's people under a special spiritual power. Notice. Ezekiel 3 verse 24 which says, Then the Spirit of the Lord entered into me, and spake with me, and said unto me, Shut thyself within thine house and eat the scroll by studying what I the Lord want you to tell my people. That is Ezekiel 3. 24 which says, Then the Spirit of the Lord entered into me, and spake with me, and said unto me, Shut thyself within thine house and eat the scroll by studying what I the Lord want you to tell my people. Notice also Ezekiel 11 verse 5 says, And the Spirit of the Lord fell upon Ezekiel, and said to him, By the Spirit, Speak, thus saith the Lord, to my people of the house of Israel, for them to know the things that will come into your mind, as a word to every one of them. Ezekiel stood in the obedience of the Spirit to speak for God of a scroll of salvation. The word of the Lord was the key transport by the Spirit to get a warning to the people of the Lord He has chosen. The work and the nature of the Spirit start in the word received and believed. The Word is the supernatural substance that waters the soul into salvation. The Word is the water. I want you to keep that in mind because in Ezekiel's experience, the water of the scroll that he eat was the focus of the Spirit empowering him to accomplish. Let's read it in Ezekiel 36 verse 16 which says, Moreover the word of the Lord came unto me, saying. Let's look at verse 25. In Ezekiel 36 verse 25 it says, then will I sprinkle clean water of the word upon you, and you shall be clean by the word sprinkled, from all your filthiness, and from all your idols, will I cleanse away from you. Notice that the word is the cleaning agent. The word of God is spoken of in Ephesians 5 verse 26 which tells us that we are sanctified and are made cleansed by the washing of water by the word of God. It is the word that cleanses up first before the spirit can do its work. The water and the spirit are the converting factors of God in salvation. You have to see this. If you don't religion will take you someplace else in God's salvation plan for man. Salvation is in Jesus Christ as the source of it, but it is by the water of the Word and the Spirit that is the main means to get Jesus in front of God's people to find the salvation of the Word and the Spirit. The wet of the Spirit is the water of the Word. The wet is in the water as the source and means at the same time to get saved and be born again. It is the water in essence and that is the Word and the wet that comes with he water is the wet of the Spirit to splash upon us to get in us. Ezekiel was told this. He had to eat the word from the scroll by study. Notice Ezekiel 3 verses 1 to 3 say. One moreover he said unto me, Son of man, eat thou scroll, and go speak unto the house of Israel the words you eat to warn them of what I spoke to you for them to repent of. Next Ezekiel 3 verse 2 says, So Ezekiel opened his mouth as he read and studied the scroll that Lord caused him to eat. Ezekiel got full of the word that the cause him to eat. Notice next, Ezekiel 3. 3 says, And the Lord's word said unto me, Son of man fill your belly with this roll, but I the Lord give thee. Then did Ezekiel as the Lord said and began to eat the scroll seven days, and it was in Ezekiel's mouth and tongue as honey for sweetness. The word of God formed on the tongue and spoken aloud is the creative power of God. The word of God is pre-programmed to find its results in the workings of the Spirit to come forth as spoken. Notice also Ezekiel 3 verse 14 says, So the Spirit lifted me up to go give the warn to God's people to repent of, the sweetness of the word became bitterness, in my heart to say to God's people what God warns them to repent of. But the Spirit was strong on me to give me the strength to speak in boldness to call God's people to see the word under the Spirit's power upon me. Notice Ezekiel 3 verse 19 says, Yet if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity but thou hast delivered thy soul. It is challenging for the people of a sinful practice to think that God is with them in that practice. I think of a lesbian minister that felt comfortable in that practice and being assigned by men to oversee a church in Philadelphia as a gay LGBT minister. It is not an easy thing to confront that lesbian minister on the warnings of God's word. The wet is in the water of the word at Romans 1 verses 21-27. 21 Because that, when they knew God, they glorified Him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. 22 Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. 
23 And changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man in voting things humans can do that birds and four-foot beasts and creeping things wouldn't seek to do sexually. 24 Wherefore God also gave corruptible men up to uncleanness through the lusts of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves thinking God approves of this. 25 Who changed the truth of God into a lie, and worshipped and served the words of each other more than the words of the Creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. 26 For this cause God gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature in having sex with each other woman with women and men with. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another, men with men working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, but they themselves can't see it, why? The new birth has never become a reality to them. Need the word sweet in mouth to say, but bitter in the belly to say to the face of an LBGT minister. Leviticus 18 22 Thou shalt not lie with mankind, as with womankind, it is abomination. What is this all about? Being judgmental slash no. It is a charge to say what God says to say that many are not saying. Why? They have not experienced the new birth as God gives it. Faith Clinic listener here is my address to write me of your struggle in this or 6254 North Beechwood Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Zip code 19138. That's Faith Clinic, 6254 North Beechwood Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Zip code 19138. Jesus made a recall of this to a man named Nicodemus in John chapter 3. John 3 verses 1 to 5. 1 There was a man of the Pharisees, named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. 2 The same came to Jesus by night, and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest, except God be with him. 3 Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. For Nicodemus saith unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb, and be born? John 3 verse 5 gives the Ezekiel experience. John 3 verse 5 says, Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. What is this born of water and of the Spirit? It is the word washing, so the Spirit can take effect. Do you get this, or am I wasting your time? This born-again experience is a God work many misapply. Ezekiel 11 verse 19 gives the Old Testament understanding here. It says, And I the Lord will put a new spirit within and upon the stony heart of their flesh, and will give the spurt of awakening to decide to be on the Lord's side without forcing the human will. It will be a drawing word of the word within the flesh and the spirit upon the heart. John 3 verse 10 gives the New Testament explanation to the Old Testament declaration. John 3 verse 10 says, Jesus answered and said unto Nicodemus, Are you a master teacher of Ezekiel's experience that you don't understand me? And you of all in Israel should know this, but you are ignorant of the newest that God provides under a spiritual new birth. It is of the water and the spirit that Ezekiel spoke of in Ezekiel 36 verses 16 and 25, 26, and 27. Let me say this over to you. It is of the water and the spirit that Ezekiel spoke of in Ezekiel 36 verses 16 and 25, 26, and 27. Jesus spoke on the new birth with authority because he was one who came from above by sharing John 3 verses 9 to 13, 16. John 3 verse 9 Nicodemus answered and said unto him, How can these things be? John 3 verse 10 Jesus answered and said unto him, Art thou a master of Israel, and knowest not these things of Ezekiel's experience? John 3 11 Verily, verily, I say unto thee, we speak that we do know, and testify that we have seen and receive as a witness to the experience of God. John 3 verse 12 If I have told you earthly things, and ye believe not, how shall ye believe, if I tell you of heavenly things in explaining the Ezekiel story you should already know? John 3 verse 13 And no man hath ascended up to heaven, but he that has come down from heaven, even me as the Son of man which was in heaven, I speak this of authority in the know. John 3 verse 16 For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. 
John 3 verse 16 gives the salvation fact, act and its impact on the whole human race. The fact, God so loved. The act God gave His only begotten Son in a monogans, only unique born one with a nature to save mankind. The impact, to give eternal life that lasts forever to them that believe in the threefold fact, act, and impact. There are seven wonders in John 3 verse 16 as the gospel of fact, act, and impact. 1. God. 2. So loved. 3. He gave an only, unique Son to save mankind. 4. Whosoever 5. Believes in the Son. 6. Should not perish. 7. And have everlasting life. Once again. There are seven wonders in John 3 verse 16 as the gospel of fact, act, and impact. 1. God equals the Almighty Authority. 2. So loved equals the mightiest motive. 3. He gave an only, unique Son to save mankind equals greatest gift. 4. Whosoever 5. Believes in the Son equals wildest welcome. 6. Should not perish equals a divine deliverance. 7. And have everlasting life. Equals the priceless possession. Once again. There are seven wonders in John 3 verse 16 as the gospel of fact, act, and impact. 1. God equals the almighty authority. 2. So loved equals the mightiest motive. 3. He gave an only, unique son to save mankind equals greatest gift. 4. Whosoever 5. Believes in the son equals wildest welcome. 6. Should not perish equals a divine deliverance. 7. And have everlasting life. Equals the priceless possession. It all comes down to 2 Corinthians 4 verse 16 for which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. Ephesians 3 verse 16 that he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. Ephesians 4 verses 23 to 24 and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. And that ye put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. John 7 verses 38 to 39 He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Now I am going to stop here. Let me tell you one and all. Religion is lying to you. It is time for you to study for yourself of the church universal. The churches that you see are of a man-made creation of the devil. You who are in religion are deceived to believe what you are told to believe. It is culture over Christ. It is the social club where you meet and greet and potluck eat and agree to re-meet next week for more religious entertainment among yourselves to have a good time in the Lord sitting soaking and souring in religion that will not get you to heaven. You must be born again. Of the water of the Word and the Spirit. Here is Sister Grace to tell you how you can help in a donation of support. Take it away Sister Grace. Hello I am Sister Grace the Faith Clinic Fellowship Podcast Announcer. Hey, if you want to climb up to the Rolex living, you have got to come off of the Timex giving. Faith Clinic Fellowship is a ministry of wood ground to sow your sea of faith and financial pledge. On your phone you can make a cash app donation to the Faith Clinic Fellowship Outreach. The cash app is $Sintoribrunson61. That cash app is $TERRYBRUNSON61. It's on the screen. You can give $1, $5, $10, $20, $50, $100, or more to the Faith Clinic cause. There is a financial covenant you can enter into to give a donation. Psalms 50 verse 5 says, Gather the saints of God together to give by a covenant offering in a sacrifice. Bring a seed of money to the Lord to sow towards your harvest expectation. There are 25 of you listing that can sow a seed of faith. You can give $1, $5, $10, $20, $50, $100, or more to the Faith Clinic cause. Your offering that you give will leave your hand, but it will never leave your life. It will go into your future to multiple as an expected harvest from your seed sown. If you want to climb up to the Rolex living, you have got to come off of the Timex giving. Nothing leaves heaven until something leaves the earth out of your hand, says John 3 verse 27. You can sow. 
So what? So your seed towards a harvest in expectation. The Bible says you can sow for a healing, a financial breakthrough. New job. Deliverance from drug use and self-abuse. On your phone you can make a Cash App donation to the Faith Clinic Fellowship Outreach. The Cash App is $TERRYBRUNSON61. That Cash App is $TERRYBRUNSON61. It's on the screen. You can give $1, $5, $10, $20, $50, $100, $100 or more to the Faith Clinic cause. If you want to climb up to the Rolex living, you have got to come off of the Timex giving. Sell an offering today without delay. To Cash App is $TERRYBRUNSON61. Let's return to Evangelist Terry Brunson's topic of study.